you ask about rituals, and while we have a lot of them around holidays and stuff, I think the biggest one that started um, sort of, well, didn't start our relationship, but was close to the beginning of our relationship was our wedding, and choosing to um, celebrate um, our relationship publicly um, at the Yale Divinity School Chapel with about 150 people um, was a really important step for us, that we both we both had been through relationships, I think, where um, it was easy in some ways to break up because there was nothing nothing formal that we had publicly stated. Um, we had made private commitments, but those were easier to break than public ones. And so we decided to have a, a, a wedding on May Day, um, May 1st, um, 1993. And um, we were lucky because we had a lot of the Connecticut Gay Men's Chorus because they were all good friends of ours. I sang with an ensemble that was um, connected to the chorus. And um, we... Uh, we had this marvelous music because of um, having so many members of the Gay Men's Chorus um, singing on the congregational hymns and that sort of thing. But it was a wonderful celebration. And there's lots of things that stick out at it. For me, I think two of the things that stick out the best are um, my advisor at Yale, um, a Roman Catholic nun by the name of Sister Margaret Farley, um, was part of our wedding. She read the gospel lesson um, and was there um, to celebrate with us. And um, when she went through the receiving line at the end of the ceremony, um, she hugged me and whispered into my ear, don't let anybody kid you. Um, you are married in the eyes of the church. I don't care what any of the rest of them say. And that was a really powerful thing for her to say to me um, and very meaningful because we, we were doing things at that point that not a lot of people were doing. Um, and so that, that was really exciting. The, the other thing was, I mentioned the music being so good. Part of that, too, was because we had a fabulous organist, um, openly gay man, who was a colleague of mine, another student at the Divinity School. And I asked him, not because he was gay, but because he was the best organist I knew, um, to participate. And um, I looked up at the end of the receiving line. Um, I realized he had stopped playing, but nobody was in the chapel anymore, so that didn't surprise me. But he was standing in the receiving line, and when he got to us, he had tears in his eyes, and he said, I have done literally hundreds of weddings. But he said, I never got it until today. Today, I finally understood why people get up and do this. And that was just incredibly powerful. And he said, thank you for asking me to be the organist today, because it is something that meant a lot to me as well. And so that was pretty powerful to me. And I, I think the, the power of the day, um, it's been a long time since I've thought of this, but uh, not long from the time when we had our ceremony, uh, a colleague of mine was getting married. And I remember, her hear, I remember hearing her say, all I have to do is get through the service, and then we have a great big party. And I thought, wow, that's not what we're fighting for. Um, we, I mean, the... I think so often in what people think of as the traditional marriage, it's the big reception, it's the big party, it's the big gifts, it's everything. Whereas we wanted to get together with our friends, and the whole idea is to make this promise in front of God and your friends, saying that we want to do this and we're serious and we're going to go forward. And I think something that was special about that day also for us was we had a few friends, a few lesbians that were in their 60s, 70s, and they were, we made a point to have them a part of the service. Um, and they were just tickled. They just never thought they would ever see something like this in their lifetime. They had both uh, had relationships in the closet as they were our age and, and had never even imagined that they could stand up in front of... We were in Yale Divinity School Chapel doing our ceremony. And uh, it was pretty amazing. It was very moving for a lot of people on uh, many different levels.